The start of the St. George Marathon began just before the break of dawn with a drone show. We had a drone show for um, 11 minutes to start our race and it was magical. There were cheers from runners who were preparing for this year's race. As the day began to break, a sea of salmon-colored shirts paraded through downtown St. George on behalf of this year's Mayor's Walk. Among them, of course, was Mayor Michelle Randall, who strolled alongside her family. It's beautiful. I don't know why I have a jacket, so I had to tie it around my waist because it's just the perfect temperature right now. But it's going to get warm. <laughs> Those of all abilities crossed the finish line, some ending with the ceremonial picture. A representative from St. George's Marathon sister city in Japan gave a traditional nod of thanks. Walkers were then invited for a scone breakfast put on by the Exchange Club. Some say it's one of the best parts of the mayor's walk. It uh, comes in close. It's, it's top three for sure. The first place winner of the half marathon had well predicted his fate by the day before. Hajime Zikai from Ibigawa, Japan, set a time of 104.13 in the 13.1 mile race. The scenery was just humongous. And yeah, he just felt the, the power from nature and everything as he was running down and it did really well for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a wonderful half marathon. <laughs> First place in the women's half and second place overall was Savannah Berry, who came in four minutes later and shattered a new record for women in this race. I've done the full marathon before and I really love the city and love this course, so I wanted to come back and participate in it because I knew if I just came and watched him, I would totally be like missing out and be really sad. That's how I always am. Ellie Stevens took second among the women and third overall. I did, I ran three minutes quicker than I did last year and my PB is on this course. So I'm happy to definitely run three minutes quicker than last year. I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> As she rang the bell for her personal best, others who had a great run followed. It was pretty nice for the first three quarters of the race. About the time the sun came up, it got a little warm. How did you do today? I did good. I, I felt pretty good about it. I got a new personal best. So I'm pretty happy with it. First aid crews were ready and prepared in case the heat took a toll on runners. We provide IVs. We have an emergency room physician, Dr. Kim Rowland, will be here. If they need anything additional, we'll transport them to the ER. Marathon organizers were also prepared with extra water sprayers along the route. You look like you're headed to Hawaii or something. <laughs> this is Hawaii. <laughs> It is a hot year and we're sorry we couldn't control that better. <laughs> As they crossed the finish line one by one, the runners were cheered on by supporters. Let's go! Then it was time for the main event. The first two full marathon runners were less than a minute apart crossing the finish line. Today was a day I never fully cramped up, and it was a big win on that front, and um, yeah, wonderful events. It was a lot of fun being able to run with friends. Um, the event is so well organized, and I appreciate all the people that have come out here to cheer us on. Talk about seven guys. We were just working together, trading leads in the wind. It was so much fun, so much camaraderie out there. It was awesome, and a few of us stayed together until about the hill at Ledges, and then I was able to a little bit of a lead on him. Uh, I was never really able to see him until this final straightaway, so he, he pretty much had it in the back. St. George's favorite and four-time winner, Aaron Mettler, was cheered in with eighth place. Great day, great day. Wasn't my best uh, day, but you never know what you're going to get with a marathon. And every time you go out there, you give it your best effort, and you see what it gets you for that day, and you got to be proud of whatever you do that day. So. First place women's marathon winner went to Cody Clevin, who beat her personal record by two minutes. That last three miles, I had my brother on the bike next to me all three miles of the way. So I was super, I needed him. Because I was just like leaning back. I wanted to give up so bad, but he was cheering me on. And nine minutes behind her was Libby Bigelow of Idaho. Um, I started out pretty conservatively. I was, think I was in like third place out of the females. And then my plan was right around mile like 
11, I was going to pick it up and see who I could close in on. And that was right about when I started to get a cramp. And then it lasted for four miles, like a, like the worst one I've ever had. I actually had to stop and walk for a little bit, and I've never done that in a race. I picked it up, and I was able to get second, so I was happy about that. Not like super happy about how my body felt, but overall I was really happy that I was able to come back. Third place in the women's marathon went to Josie Riggs. One of the St. George Marathon's legends is Ashley Paulson, who took the Masters this year for women. I was screaming at everybody, cheering them all day. I was ecstatic to get the number one Masters. That means I get to go to Japan. That's 40 and older is the Masters. So there is good that comes with age. You can be a little slower and still go to Japan. I'm so excited. And newcomers to marathons also were brought in with great hometown cheers and hugs. So would you advise this for anybody else? Sorry. Yes, please try it at least once, at least. Are you going to do it again? Yes, I'm going to do it again. All right. Okay, so right. <laughs> Four years. We had um, just about 8,400 runners apply. That's almost 1,400 than we've let in in the past. We capped at 7,000 last year, and we filled that number in six weeks. So as you can see, it's, it's turned out to be an exciting day. And at the end of the day, there was more than just one way to beat the pain and the heat. It sucked at first, now it feels amazing. <laughs> From the 48th Annual St. George Marathon, Melissa Anderson Community Education News.